Malaysians are paying a little over a hundred US dollars for a pair of shots of the newly introduced Q Denga vaccine. Some of them already have first-hand experience of dengue. I had to stay in the hospital for about a week. It's not something that you want to go through. It's, it's pretty bad. And yeah, and I come to get the vaccine because I, I've experienced this before and I, I'll tell you it's not worth it. Dr. Musa Noidin is urging his patients to take the new vaccine against a disease that has killed dozens of people here so far this year. I think these are all preventable death, and I think with the vaccine available, we can control the disease better, we can prevent hospitalization, hopefully we can prevent another dengue death. Malaysia undertakes fogging to kill the mosquitoes that carry dengue, as well as routine inspections to find breeding grounds. It has also been testing the introduction of mosquitoes infected with a virus that renders the wild population sterile. But still, the disease takes a huge toll on the country. It's people living in high-density housing, like this government-subsidized apartment complex, who are at the highest risk of contracting dengue. For now, the vaccine is only available through the private medical system at a cost that will put off lower-income people. When we look at how much dengue is costing the country today, which is around 200 million US dollars per year, the cost of the vaccine result, uh, is, is a clear uh, cost-benefit for the country as a whole. If you're able to protect your populations, then you're able to prevent them from becoming a burden uh, for the health system, but also uh, taking them out from the workforce. Analysts expect Malaysia's government to use its bargaining power to get a lower price for the vaccine so that it can soon be rolled out more widely here, prioritizing those living in areas with the highest dengue risk.